I did Leo everybody <laughs> happy 4th of July to you 4th of July is tomorrow for me uh, you're probably seeing this on the 5th the day after so this is my digs here I got my flags out and my patriotic lights out <laughs> about as much uh, setup as you see for me when it comes to holidays other than uh, Christmas right yeah I'm out here at that, that one hidden campground. This is that one in Ocean, actually Ocean City, four miles north of Ocean Shores. It's called Oceana. You won't find it on the Thousand Trails map itinerary uh, database. And I think I finally understand why. I finally got a response from Thousand Trails about all the ones that aren't listed. I don't think they're very proud of this one. And that's why, because she said, we are very aware of the fact that this campground is not listed in the directory or map. Oh, but, but as a Thousand Trails member, we're paying for this, but you won't allow us to camp here unless somebody tells us it exists and we go to Oceana RV Park and then tell them we're a Thousand Trails member to reserve a spot, which is kind of weird to me. Um, this place doesn't have much. They have some rundown horseshoe pits here. This is the the first and only that I know of Thousand Trails that doesn't have a pool or a sauna, uh, no, no foosball, billiards, air hockey, nothing. It's just, it's just an RV park that doesn't even have full hookups. We're parked really close together, but there's a 10 minute walk to the ocean. I'd rather stay at Sea View, the last one I was at. I like Sea View a lot better than I like this one, but doesn't matter, I wanted to try it out, you know. And I don't want to be negative on the 4th of July, but all the people that I was, all the friends and family I was supposed to hang out with have all kind of canceled on me at the last minute within the last week. So I find myself out here alone, but actually that was not the plan. I don't, I don't really mind. It's just going to be Jackson, uh, Jackson me for uh, 4th of July, possibly. Check out this old Dodge Sportsman with the new paint job. It's a 77 Sportsman, I believe. Dodge. With some flashy new paint. Brought it right back to life. I like that. I mean, I'm comfortable over at my site, obviously, but you, I can't stay still, guys. And I'm not promising that I'll stay here through the 5th, because there's the ocean, you know, where you can bring the RV and you can go hang out and people are firing off fireworks all day and all night. And so I, I haven't really decided what I'm going to do tomorrow. It'll be part of this video, though, but don't be surprised if I just unhook and go to the ocean instead to boondock one thing here worth pointing out one thing this trailer oh that's not just a trailer even though it's parked next to all these other campers this is the laundry room for the campground and to be honest with you i really like it i don't know if it was just left here and that's why they converted it into a laundry room or if they just wanted to be different I love it. It smells like an old trailer. Got a little love seat with some magazines to read, a little folding table, and a whopping two washers and dryers. Because that's about all you could have fit in here anyway, right? Uh, I like that, you know? I, I, I know I dog on Thousand Trails all, all the time, but that's for stuff like the fake fishing license and the $5 cards that you sometimes have to buy. You don't gotta buy any cards. You just take quarters here. I mean, I, this is different. This is unique. I like this part of Thousand Trails. I don't like the money grab stuff or the, the really strange stuff that makes it hard to camp. You know what I mean? Look at this. I'm wearing long pants in July. We are going to hit a balmy 66 degrees here on the 4th of July at the ocean. It's going to be a hot one today. <laughs> oh, let me check in here on Jackson. We'll go check out the ocean digs out there too. Because I mean, what else is there to do here, right? Catman Jax, I would invite you to the beach, but I know you don't like the wind and the beach and the water and everything related to the beach. So you want to stay here instead? All right, man. How about I bring you back a nice feather? Oh, a good feather. Okay, Dad. Okay, give me a feather. Or I'll bite you. Or I'll bite you. Okay. I am working on one project in the RV. Filming that too. I will update you that on the next video. Just just so you know, I'm working different angles. Whoa, cool. Like a secret little cove here. Ooh, let's go check this out. Don't hit my head. I'm short, no problems. Oh, cool. Can live under this tree in here. And someone may have. <laughs> they do have like camping, tent camping, right on the other side of the dunes. You can probably hear voices and people over there along this trail. You know, no power or anything, but 
I guess most people wouldn't care. You're just gonna camp, right? This is the trail. Could definitely take the e-bike on this trail as well as uh, Seaview. No problem right now. It's not soft sand at all. Well, hey there, ocean. <laughs> it looks like it's gonna rain. It really does look like it's gonna rain out there. No, this is an okay 4th of July. I don't mind. I love water. I love beach. I mean, who cares, right? <laughs> Tomorrow, <laughs> this whole beach is going to be filled non... I mean, there will be nowhere to park. All the way up to the water. But look at that sand. Pacific Northwest. Now what's that? A tasty jack's feather? A freshly plucked single feather for him to sniff? Oh yeah. I know I've been pretty vague about what my summer plans are. It is summertime, but summer trips and everything, it's coming really soon, guys. Just uh, dealing with uh, a couple minor things here real quick. Um, I am saying goodbye to the Pacific Ocean. It may be sometime before I touch this body of water. I don't have any plans in the next year to be back. So, yeah, feeling sad about that, but hey, there's still tomorrow. I may bring the RV out here tomorrow. I might do it. I just, I just might do it anyway. I told you, I couldn't resist. <laughs> I told the people at the resort I was heading out for the day to go to the ocean where the party's at. And I got Miranda all decorated here, a little reserve sign uh, on my campsite back there. I got a buddy Nate here. Uh, there's a few RVs on the beach. It's only 11 a.m. So there will be no room to do anything and the tide comes up to, well, let me show you where the tide comes up to. It's way out there now, but it'll come up to my tires. We will get waves into my tires uh, starting at 3 p.m. And there's another one at about 2 a.m. Uh, after I get out of here. There are people camping setting up there. Bad idea. So there will be some drama later as people scurry to put their stuff away. But that's not my problem. I got a, a Patreon uh, follower, Matt, who... Uh, brought in some fireworks. Let me show you this. You can park out here if you're in a four-wheel drive in the soft stuff, but my buddy's got the safety zone quarantined over here. There's the fireworks. I got some mortar loading. Uh, this is going to be great. And look at this pile. Now, Matt already shot off a lot of these the last two days. This, well, this was originally $5,000 worth of fireworks here, and this is what's left. Still a lot of fun boom booms. So it's nice that I actually got to hang out with friends after all on the 4th of July. So there's Miranda and uh, I'll, I'll cut back in later. Happy 4th of July, everybody. All right, we have reached the afternoon high tide. Everybody has moved back. We barely have a lane of traffic here. But people are still getting through for right now. And then for the fireworks tonight, it's gonna go back out and we should be okay. I'm not gonna talk anymore. I'm gonna show some video though, put some music to it. It's gonna be really loud and crazy around here. So wish y'all a safe and happy 4th of July. Jackson, I will see you in a couple days. Bye guys.
eyes and find the light. You got nothing left to lose.